On the Clash of Streamers shop, you can buy Clash of Streamers deals using cryptocurrencies Purpose, Dubi, BSC Gubi, and BSC Dubi. To buy deals on a Game for Good shop, you can either log in with Twitch and then buy it for your own account or use your gift button. In this example, I'm gonna go buy a deal for my own account. So let's log in with Twitch here. It will automatically open a pop-up where you can close and continue. And then we'll update the shop to show the rewards available for your account. Now to actually pay with cryptocurrency for the shop, you need a browse extension for crypto wallets. And in my case, we're using MetaMask. You can get MetaMask or MetaMask.io, make sure it's the right address. You can download for the major internet browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, or whatever you're using. Once you've downloaded MetaMask and added it to a browser, you need to first either create a new wallet or import a wallet. Since we already have a wallet from the game, maybe because you open the blockchain building and you created a wallet and then you gifted the crypto to charity to receive Gooby, we want to use the wallet from the game. Hence, when opening MetaMask, we want to restore an account using a secret recovery seed. Here we need to enter the 12 words that we have from the game and then we need to select a password for MetaMask to lock our MetaMask and keep our funds safe. Make sure when you enter this passphrase that you don't stream this or record it and don't show it to anyone because whoever has access to your passphrase also has access to all your funds. Once you've entered your passphrase here, you will see MetaMask with any Ether funds you might have. In my case, I don't have any Ether on this wallet because I don't want to use Purpose or Gooby on the shop. I actually want to use Gooby. Gooby is on the Binance Smart Chain. So to see Gooby in MetaMask, we need to first add the new network to MetaMask. In the top right corner, you can see the Ethereum mainnet to tap to open it and then select add a network. Here we need to add network details that you can either copy from the description of this video or just type it together with me right now. The network name is Smart Chain. The RPC URL is from Binance. The chain ID is 56. Currency symbol we will use BNB and for Block Explorer we are using BSC Scan. Once you save it, it will add the Smart Chain BSC network to your wallet and here you can see any BNB you might have. Gooby is a token so to see your amount of Gooby you need to input the token. Simply click on import here at the bottom and then enter the token contract address of Gooby. You can find it in the description of this video or by going to the purpose homepage purpose.io, scroll all the way down to the bottom and down here you can copy all the token addresses. Paste it into MetaMask. If you have the right address it will immediately add the token symbol and the decimals. You can simply click add custom token. Now you can import the amount of Gooby you have on your wallet and you'll be able to see it in MetaMask. The same way you can also add BSC Gooby to this MetaMask if you would have that. And of course if you rather want to use Purpose or Doobie on the Ethereum network to pay on the Game Food Shop, you can go back to the Ethereum mainnet and there import your Purpose and Doobie tokens and view them on MetaMask. Now we have MetaMask and we have Gooby. Let's try using this on the Game for Good Shop. Simply go back to the shop and select the purchase you want to buy. In my case, let's get the new exclusive pet. Tap the buy button here and then you can select the amount of pets you want to get. In my case, we'll get two of them. At the bottom here, you have the options to use Gooby or get Doobie. Whenever you don't have enough currency to buy the deal or the amount of deals that you've selected and it will show the get button it will redirect you to where you can get more of this currency for example you can get some on dvx if you have enough then you see the use button again here since in metamask we have selected smart chain network it only allows me to use gooby or Doobie. if i wanted to use purpose or Doobie on the Ethereum network in metamask i will simply change back to the Ethereum mainnet you want to refresh the shop after switching your network select the purchase you want to buy and then you have the options to use purpose or use Doobie. we want to to use Gooby so we go back to the smart chain and then we want to refresh the page and find the purchase again in this case my pet and select two models now before you can actually spend your Gooby or any other currency on the game for good shop there's usually a transaction cost a fee that you need to pay to make this transaction if you use purpose or Gooby on the Ethereum network you need to pay in Ether and you can get Ether from normal exchanges or from trading your purpose on DubyX but if you want to use Gooby or BSC Gooby then you need some BNB so the buy and it's spoken to pay for the transaction fee. If you don't have any BNB, you can get this from exchanges, or you could also get BNB from trading your Gooby or any other currency on PancakeSwap. There's a video linked in the description that explains to you how to cash out your Gooby and it involves how to get BNB on PancakeSwap. Now that we have enough BNB to pay for the transaction and we have enough Gooby, we can go ahead and buy this purchase. By default, if you have connected Twitch and you have your MetaMask unlocked, it might immediately select MetaMask wallet, but you can also change wallet here. And then for example, 
pay with Ledger Treasure or scan the code in your blockchain building in the game. That's a valid purchase method too. So let's just use MetaMask here and we'll use Gooby. So we tap the use Gooby button. This will open a MetaMask window that asks you to confirm the transaction. Simply scroll down in the window and press confirm. And then you have the order place in the top left corner with transaction ID where you can tap to view the transaction history and your pending transactions. You can also copy this transaction and then look it up on BSC scan to view the history. Once the transaction was successful, you will get this prompt saying it was successful. And if you go back to the game, you will receive your rewards. And there we go. We got the Game for Good Boost Rewards winner banner with our exclusive pet skins.